mode of the melodic minor scale called the mixolydian flat six aeolian dominant or hindu scale now if you're if you're not really into modes or you don't know them i don't blame you for being scared just by that alone they have stupid names they have sometimes multiple names but let me just try and explain this we have a melodic minor scale a in this case which looks exactly the same as a major scale with a flat third okay so think about it like that that's an A melodic minor scale. If you go to the fifth note of that and play all the notes from the original key, you get this mode, which I think sounds incredible. I'm doing it in this key because you can play an E drone. We'll get onto that later. But if you know a mi mixolydian mode already, which is is that. It's that with a flat six, hence the name Mixolydian flat six. Now listen to the song I want to spend my lifetime loving you from the Mask of Zorro and that is a song that uses this mode and it's just got a really exotic beautiful sounds to it. In the backing track there I had two chords going, an E major chord to an A minor chord and those two chords highlight this sound. So there's two things I want you to practice. First of all Learn the scale. Probably three things actually. What you can do is you can play an E drone in this key, like an E. Just to start to get your ear in tune to this. Or you can play along to a drone. What I did there was an attempt to make some music. So I started on the 12th fret, did the same pattern. When I got to there, shift up. And you can at least start the same, the same scale again. Nice. Little pull off, slide. It's really when you add articulations and phrasing to notes, This, in this case, this particular mode, where you start to sound musical. So you can do that. So little tips here, I've got a root, major third, fourth and fifth. Right, just transfer that up the octave. You've got loads of notes there and you can do fills as well. So if you download the backing track, that's got the chord movement of E to A minor and that kind of outlines this this harmony really brilliantly well another great song is praying for time by george michael that that um, has a little nod to this too anyway this was something i was practicing recently i think you'll have a lot of fun with this it's a new scale it's a new shape and it's a new sound so take things slowly perhaps without the backing track at first maybe just with that that static low e drone or you do it yourself up here just get used to the new patterns and the new sound and see how you get on. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, here's another one that you will like too. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a brilliant day and I'll see you next time.